Hey, what's up, Philip? This is a uh, large demo video for you for your three sabers. You've got a KR Sabers Scavenger, a KR Sabers Desert Wanderer, and an 89 Sabers OWK4. Uh, we're going to go over the scavenger first just because it's easier to grab. Uh, this is installed with a Profi. It's got the Goth Eco Chassis kit that you provided. All right, so it's got the uh, Carl Chen PCB in here. I'm sorry, not the Carl. It's got the Stock V3 NeoPixel connector in here. You did ask me to change out the fins for you for the heat stained fins, so I did that for you. Um, I put the original ones in a bag and they are in your box. All right. Um, it is a one button setup. So that setup is right here in the cog. We'll go over that here in a second And then to get to the chassis you just grab the pommel do a quick twist cl uh, Clockwise and then pull the entire thing out. All right, and this is what your chassis looks like I'm going to leave the pommel on the chassis. It is extremely tight, but it does hold it very well There's no need for it to come off. I've already aligned your chassis grooves with the J-Lock system inside of the pommel so you can just leave that on there and treat this as one unit. All right. And of course, you've got a removable battery set up here. Profi board up here. Uh, your kill switch is down here. Um, all of these savers have the stock font package on them since you like to go in and put your own fonts on. So we'll just be demoing the stock font package. All right. Um, you have a leaf spring in here. So the negative side of your battery goes over here towards your pommel. We'll slap that in, go over here and flip the kill switch. And then you'll want to line up these two J-Lock pieces right here in your pommel. And get that to uh, focus real quick. So that J-Lock and 180 degrees, that other J-Lock piece, those line up with the two screws that are in your pommel. So there's one here and one back here. All right, we'll slide that right in. Push it all the way into the saber. And then push up on the pommel and twist counterclockwise to lock everything in. So now it's nice and locked in. You can come over here. As you turn this cog, it opens these pedals. And then the last little bit turns it on. Smooth Jedi. If you're on it too long, you'll go to the next sound font. So it's going to be a quick, just like that. All right. So all your lights are lighting up. You got some nice shine through in your window area. This particular one has twist off because I did have to program this for a one button setup. All right. Um, to put a blade in, you'll notice up top here, you have four screws up here by the emitter. Uh, only one of them is silver. I colored one silver right here. It is one millimeter longer than the rest. And that is your blade retention. So you'll need a flathead screwdriver for that. We'll put a test blade in here real quick. So we'll just back that up a little bit. Colored it silver so it still kind of matches the weathering that was done by Multiverse Props. That looks really good. But it also helps you delineate which of the four is your actual blade retention. All right, so we'll just we'll open those up just far enough to accept a one-inch blade. Slide that all the way down until we hit those pins and then we'll lock it down. I did go through and grease the mechanism in here, so it should be fairly easy for you to do with your thumb. If you want to flip it with your thumb, remember, hit the switch real quick and then get off of it. Just like that, right? Trading sound fonts, though, it's a long press, so you... About a one-second press, right? Blaster bolt deflex is a tap, quick tap on the button. Blade lockup will be holding down on the switch and hitting the saber. Nice blade lockup right there. And I'll turn it off. All right, so we'll take it. 
take the blade out of this guy and then take my battery out because it's my test battery. As you know, I won't be sending you any batteries because you're overseas. And so don't we don't send those in the mail. All right, I'll put your blade plug in here while I'm thinking about it and lock it down. I'll show you your blade plug it has some nice shine through on it too. Plenty of shine through, right? I'll go ahead and lock those down. These fins are not the easiest thing in the world to change out, but they do look really nice once they're in there. Just come over here, pop our chassis back out, flip that kill switch, and you can actually press on the battery from over here, same side as the board, and that will help you pop it right out. If you ever find that the battery is in there a little bit too loose, you can come in here, that negative side leaf spring. You can take a pair of tweezers or something and just bend that out just a little bit, all right? Um, it's not where it's an issue right now, but it is a little bit looser than what I'd like to see, all right? But it's not having any trouble holding the battery in, especially when it's in the handle, the battery doesn't go anywhere. All right, but that is basically your scavenger. Next, we'll go through the 89 Sabres OWK4, all right? This is also a profi, they're all profis. Um, these next two have Carl Chen PCBs in them. They are two button setups, but to get to the chassis, you want to do a few things. First, you want to unscrew this grenade section and booster section together. That'll slide off. But before you take the chassis out, you'll want to come through here and unscrew these two switches a little bit. All right. I'm using these as chassis retentions. So you unscrew those. You don't have to take them all the way out, but you do want to back them up. You can see how they're kind of standing up off of the, the clamp area, right? Once you do that, you can come over here and pull your chassis out. Uh, this has a seven pin NeoPixel connector up here in the front. And that makes contact with a blade side PCB that I have in there. You can barely see it. You'll see it really well when you get it in person though. All right. Uh, this has a 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost Elite speaker. Um, easy access to your board right here, both your SD card and your micro USB. Uh, it is a two button setup, like I said, and of course a removable battery. All right, so stock fonts again, but we'll throw a battery in this guy. Good sign, got your boot up. Come in here, line up your switches with these two plungers that we unscrewed when we took this out. Push this all the way in. Once you've got it all the way in, go ahead and screw down those two plunger switches. All right. There's a channel in the chassis that keeps that chassis in line and now everything is locked down. And you can come over here and screw on your booster section. Hit power. So you got lights. Auxiliary back here. I typically don't like doing demos with the stock font package because honestly they kind of suck but you know that so when you get some aftermarket fonts on here it will sound a lot better but i have your sound actually coming out of this area right here instead of the pummel um, you've got this pummel cap on here it does have a hidden vent system but these are wide open holes right here and i find that it has some really nice sound coming out of here much like it would do with like the roman props mk1 Oops. I forgot I didn't program this so it doesn't have motion controls. Uh, we'll throw a blade in here though. This also takes a one inch diameter blade. And then you've got a single blade retention on this guy. So again, blaster bolts, you know, blade lock up, hold it down and hit the saber. Very loud. 
I've got that speaker fully encompassed inside the middle of the chassis. Uh, so all that sound is pushing out of the clamp area and it sounds really good. I mean, all these sabers sound really good. The two Obi-Wan sabers will sound a little bit better though, uh, just because it's a different type of speaker. They are fully enclosed. We'll come back over here when we're done. Again, unscrew this uh, pommel and booster section. Do not forget to come over here and just unscrew these plungers, right? And then pull your chassis out. And then very easy to come over here uh, from the positive side of the battery by these NeoPixel pins and pop it out. I say it's easy, but I'm gonna use a tool. Just like that. It does hold the battery in there pretty snug. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that's fully enclosed in there and pushes all that right out, all right? And that is the uh, OWK4. So we'll slide this back in. Lock this down and put it off to the side. And last but not least, we'll go over the uh, Desert Wanderer. All right, so again, Profi setup. Carl Chan PCB in here. This does have the emitter that takes the blade. So you also have a static emitter that holds the blade plug. I left that in your box. All right, so this is the emitter that you wanna use when you wanna put a blade in this guy. And you have uh, three different blade retentions on here. It is a two button setup. So this small greebly here is your power. The back cog type greebly is your auxiliary switch. And you want to come over here and just unscrew the pommel. You don't have to unscrew the booster on this one. Take that right out. You'll see your chassis pull it straight out. Just like that. All right. This does have a uh, smuggler's outpost switch pixel set. And then the 14-pin uh, PCB is in there. Barely see it, but it's in there. It doesn't come out. So again, you have a removable battery. Profi board. You can do everything you need to do from right here. You don't have to lift up the board. All right, kill switch over here facing the board. This has a 28 millimeter Smuggles Outpost dark side in it. All right, I wanted to use a dark side and fully enclose it on this one. It gives it some very nice base. All right, so let's throw, oh yeah. And then here's your switch PCB. This is a switch PCB that you get with this saber when you buy it straight from KR Sabers, but you don't get it when you buy it from Corbanth. So uh, I was very, very glad to see this switch PCB. It's very helpful. All right, throw a battery in this guy too. Come over here and flip your switch. And again, we'll line up the switch PCB with our two plungers and just slide it all the way in. All right, slide all the way in. It'll stay there and then come over here and just lock down your pommel. Now you can hit power. Auxiliary. Too. I'm just going to use one of your blade retentions. Should be all we need. Blade lock up. Want to see your blaster bolt deflect and also your blade lock up. And one more. Rogue Rogue one. Commander. It's kind of a blue one stable, right? 
do a flash on flash with this one too. And that one's working like it should. So we will take the blade out of this one, break it back down, just unscrew our pummel. You also have a static pummel that comes with this guy. So that is also in your box, right? It's got the uh, pummel with no venting. But we'll pull that right out. And again, the positive side is over here by your PCB. Pull it out with your finger just like that. And that is basically the setup on all three of your sabers. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll box these up. I also have the box or the set of Ahsokas that I did for you a while back that I was waiting to send so that I could send all of this together and be a little bit cheaper on shipping. So um, I'll box all that up today and get it out to you by tomorrow. And uh, thank you so much for your business. Take care.